The first thing you're going to need to do to get working on our app is to go to Android Studio and create a new project. If you're already open in Android Studio, you can go to File, New, and then New Project and just follow the wizard to create all the new prerequisites for it. We're going to call this Simple Timer, or whatever you want really, it doesn't matter. Again, like we discussed earlier, you're going to want to try to target as many devices as you can, but for our purposes right now, you can really choose whatever you want under SDK. You're going to want to go with a basic activity instead of an empty, because we're going to be using this little floating action button down here. Great, now that this is built, we're going to start going through some of the basic components we're going to be using to build our app. In this program, we're going to be needing text views to display the numbers, and this little button down here called a floating action button. We'll get to that in a minute, though. So, one of the main things you need to do in Android with UI elements like this is edit them programmatically from Java. So. To do that, you need to give it an ID, and as you can see, it's already ID'd as text view. When you want to refer to this in your Java code, you do it like so. First, you have to state the type of UI element it is, in this case, text view. Give it a name. Now, this is just a different type of variable, so sometimes you have to import stuff to be able to use it. As you can see, it, call, it brings in all the components for text views so you can use it in your programs. You then have to cast it to a text view, which is essentially just letting the program know again that what you're calling is a text view. And then you use a method or function called findViewById. This, like many other functions, is built into Android. And then to refer to your view, you use this following resources, or R. And that's it. Now, throughout this program, you can refer to text view. So, this method that we're working in right now is called onCreate. It's kind of like the main activity we were using in JDoodle. So, this onCreate method, all the code in here is going to get run as soon as the program or app opens. So as you can see right now, go back to your content main. This text view just says text view. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. So just to show you how this works, let's change the text whenever the app's opened up. Now, if you run your app using the emulator like this, I've already set this up, but if you want to create a new virtual device, you do this. And you just go up here, click the hardware specifications you want, and finish. And like that, you'll have a new virtual device to run your apps on. You can also use a physical device, but for the purposes of, of what we're doing in this course, a virtual device is going to be fine. So then, you're going to want to go ahead, click on whatever emulator you're using, and run your app. This might take a minute to start up, so I'm just going to pause the video and wait. Now that the app finished building, you can see that the text Hello World popped up. While we're here, I'm also going to show you how to display messages to the user, like we're going to be doing in our app. So one of the most convenient ways to show messages or give instructions to users in Android is by using what's called a toast. If you have an Android phone, you've definitely seen these before. They're just little messages that pop up and give extra information about whatever's going on. Make one, you do this. And for context, you don't really need to worry about that right now. Just write get application context. 
Then you're going to want to put the message you want to display. And then after that, either short or long, depending upon the length you want this to. I want this to be a short one, so you go length short. And then after that, you have to tell it to show the toast. So this is going to run right as the app is built. What I did here, instead of clicking on this, this is instant run. That just runs the application with the changes I made. So if you saw that right there, it said, welcome to my first app. That's what a toast is, and that's how you make them. So we're going to keep building the application in the next videos.